combining like terms. The word combine means group. Like means similar. Terms, well, these are five different terms. Four different terms, sorry. We're going to group the same ones, similar ones. So looking at this, let's start with the things with X's on them. You have that. You have that. Those are both X's. That is a 3x, that is a negative 7x. What do you get when you have 3 and negative 7? Negative 4x. So that would be negative 4x's. Combining the similar pieces. Then we look at the numbers. And I'm going to circle this time. Those are the numbers. I have a negative 5 and a positive 8. Which has more, positive or negative? The positives have how many more? Three more. Now, can negative 4x and 3 combine? Are they alike terms? No, they're different types of terms. You cannot combine those, so we are done. We are just combining like terms. Next. Look at all of these and look for the term with the highest power. Does anything else have something with uh, no. that power to combine with? That's all by itself, so we just rewrite it. Nothing to combine with. Now, look for the next highest term. N. We have n's. We have two of them. Now, can you understand that is a one n? Yes. Hmm. There's nothing there. It means I have one of them. <laughs> So I have one positive n and seven negative n's. Eight. So I have more negatives. How many more negatives? Six. I have six more negative n's. Lastly, the numbers. I'm lastly going to take care of these numbers. Okay. I have a negative 3 and a positive 6. Negative 3 and positive 6 would give me a positive 3 left over. None of these can combine because these are n squared. Think of them as squares. These are n and these are 3 numbers. You cannot combine those. We are simplified. The last problem. Before we combine like terms, what do we have to do with this right here? It's something called the distributive property. The distributive property is you multiply that negative 10 by both pieces inside. So negative 10 times x gives you what? Negative 10x. Negative 10 times negative 3 is? positive 30. That's the distributive property. Now, rewrite what's in front. Okay. So what I did is I distributed the negative 10, rewrote the front. Now, this looks a lot like this. As I look at this, what can combine? Look at the x squared. Does this have anything to combine with? So that goes first. We always start with the highest power. Okay. Now, next are the x's. Thank you. That's good. That is a negative. Negative, right? This is a negative 10x. Any x's to combine with that? No. So that's just negative 10x. Lastly, we have two numbers, a 6 and a 30. Those combine to give us 36. Can any of these combine? No. We are done. Our goal is to combine like terms. Hit the name. And you first, though, need to distribute wherever possible. 